I'll show you my new cabinets today. So today I'm super excited to share that the carpentry or the carpentry for my fish tank is complete and um, you know you can see that that is a major difference before and after uh, it really makes a difference so what I asked my carpenter to do specifically is to put a six inch um, bar platform here so I actually have this stool sitting upstairs there are four of these stools they are 24 inch tall and um, when they when you're sitting down you can basically put a drink right here I have a coaster sitting in the end put a drink right here and just like watch the tank for hours and I've been doing that actually for the last few days and then um, as far as the opening I have that open like door style on each side for maintenance and then in the bottom only the front panel can be opened so I can use this for storage or it looks like a really nice storm bunker and um, also on the end here it opens up the one thing that I did notice is that um, once everything is closed up the warm moist air gets trapped in here so immediately I went on to Amazon and purchased a little computer fan. Uh, those are six inch fans and I just put it up there and uh, they will at least help circulate the air a little bit in here. And same setup here. I also got a new Max Flipper just to complete the look. Um, just kidding, this because my last one is basically losing it. Um, so super excited to have this finished and um, I actually ordered a few um, those were wood cut out from Coco Nene um, it is a company that is located in Hawaii and um, I will show you once they arrive I'll put them up in the meantime um, I want to just share that uh, these two guys the powder blue and the Achilles are still at it and it's been a little bit over a week um, I mean, for the most part, the Achilles is actually eating fine. It's um, it's a little skinny yet just because it doesn't eat very well because the powder blue will always try to interrupt its eating. And the Dosomeria has actually been doing very good. Um, it's all healed up from the cut from Tomini. And also, all my 13 Purple Queen Antheas are still up and running and doing well. One additional thing I want to show you is that if you remember my last video where I went in and I took a dive and I cut out all of the no, the, the devil's head or the devil's finger leather coral in here and um, I've moved all of my uh, anchor or hammer coral euphelia over here. So now I have a little euphelia garden in this section. I initially had a few torch coral in here but um, I discovered that they actually do sting each other a little bit um, not super bad so I moved the torch coral back here and I also moved that big colony of um, Mandapora back here because there's just not a very good place for it in, over here and the uh, clam got from Clamania is doing well with a super fat mandarin you can see and um, the angel here, I did an episode last week that it's continuing to turn yellow. There's actually, in fact, there's more yellow this week than it, it was last week. So once again, more yellow and when the line start to turn more linear, I'll do another episode update. So that's about it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.